There, boy. Let's get you looking nice. Yeah, you all right there, boy? What? Still stirring up turmoil, damn it. That's what they're saying. Not that the bucket. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that the we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Been better. That's too bad. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. I think you cause enough trouble around here, don't you? Morning. Gun store. Yep. Uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle. I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here.
Rough as a cob right now. Ain't that a shame. Good? Sure. Let's go. Hope you're about finished with those antics. We got enough problems around here. Oh! Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Collecting on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. You okay, boy? I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep. That spooked him, all right. All right. Let's go round him up. Mount up. 
up. Let's go. Come on. Let's get down there. Oi. Okay, fella. Quick. Before they all run off on us. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. Let's get this flock moving. I got some dawdlers, Arthur. Christ, you're annoying. Watch out! Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25 percent. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, well, never really was. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Dutch is waiting for us. Okay there, boy. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromise us. Compromise it. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age I am too old to change. After you, sir. Gentlemen. Dutch, Lepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of what here the now! Hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here! Well, I... Piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. And when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott block you rob from me. Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. 
Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald Smith, a lay preacher.
Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Alright. I better get out of here.
Come on, boy. You all right, boy? <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> Yep. Come on, pal. Yeah. 
Easy, easy. Good evening, Arthur. So, we keep heading east. Good evening, Is that Arthur. the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. Evening we stop. There, we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Good evening, Arthur. Hey. Good evening to you. Is that for Pearson? Rest up. I need you strong. I've no problem resting up. There she is. Let me just play. Mr. Pearson will be very happy. You going to us here? So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Where are we 
we going? Find a new spot to camp? We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than Low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkerton, Better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money. Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Ah. Uh, you really have to do that? He don't need it now. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And yeah, being careful.
Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way? Give me a second.
continues along the shore here. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. The bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Huh. Uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Uh, a year ago. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. 